goes. We're going to go into game one, and the start for us is going to be on so this is going to be a very, a very explosive start, I feel. Yeah, and it's interesting that you say that uh, they both play very aggressively as Extra O immediately walks back, pulls out a bomb, shoots an arrow, definitely uh, establishes themselves on stage, uh, definitely trying to put, sort of put up the wall. So maybe uh, in this match we'll see Extra O playing a bit more defensively. And an amazing footstool right off the bat actually going <laughs> to take it. <laughs> Uh, and you can you can hear uh, in the house people screaming for Stretch, an amazing play really early on. Yeah, I see Zamba right behind Stretch in the player camera, so you already know Staten Island starting to post up for the boy. Yeah, seriously. But but if you're extra O here, you really got to shake it off because you do have enough damage on Stretch that you can take the sock reasonably quickly, uh, and you just can't let it get to you because, I mean, at that point, like you, you'll, you've you lost 25 seconds into the game, but that doesn't look like we're, what we're seeing with Extra O. It looks like Extra O is really establishing their game plan, really making it happen, uh, getting Stretch to come to them. It seems like this entire game has really been played in that left corner of Smashville. I feel like Extra O is no stranger to having a uh, like a slow burn of a set, and I feel like that fits naturally to Young Link as a character. So the fact that we see an even battle now, but it was a bit more of a procedure to get there, I feel like it shouldn't be too daunting that the first stock was very explosively into Stretch's favor. Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, and, and we see that Extra O already able to sort of make up that deficit. Uh, very even game right now. And it seems interesting because I feel like Extra O got there by playing very defensively, but now that they have sort of even up the game, they're playing much more aggressively, and that's where Stretch seems to be kind of eking out ahead, right? Uh, so I'm curious to see what kind of adaptation we'll see. A down air out of disadvantage, looking like me playing Young Link in <laughs> middle school. Uh, <laughs> hey, that's, but, that's a good button, especially yeah, when works. you want to establish a juggle on Smashville. Like, that, the space around that plat is prime real estate for both of these It players. really is. It's like uh, in Monopoly, how you have like those blue spaces. It's like one of those. Yes. Yeah. Oh, God. I had a brother who would always just immediately like buy those like off someone for a thousand. Terrible Monopoly play. A really <laughs> bad strategy. No, it's, it's the railroads where it's at. Yeah, no, it really is. He was just trying to flex, you know? <laughs> Uh, oh my god, an amazing down tilt to forward air, but great DI from Stretch not oh. going to get taken out. And great wait, not up being into that bomb, doesn't want to deal with any of that nonsense. Great job by Stretch, uh, really being patient, ends up getting uh, killed anyway. <laughs> I love oh, it. Wow. Holding on to the bomb, that way it doesn't have to deal with the recovery frames of the, uh, the up B. Yeah, really, really interesting strategy, uh, but it's something that, that a lot of young links are, try to be very cognizant of. And something that's always really impressive, really fun to see. And Extra O, despite uh, having the first stop taken really early, uh, is actually doing a really great job keeping this game close, keeping this game even. And I feel like a lot of these up Bs out of shield that Stretch has been doing throughout this game haven't really been paying dividends the way that you really want them to. But uh, he's also been basing them in such a way that it's difficult for Extra O to punish them. Right, going, going for you know a net zero kind of play as opposed to a... Uh like going negative is always the better call. But I feel like Stretch hasn't realized yet that a lot of the ground that he was able to cover when fighting Extra O is when he was smothering him. Like that initial beginning for Stretch when he was just right on top of Extra O did not allow them any space to establish stage control. Instant stock. But now Stretch is respecting a lot of their buttons, trying to respect a lot of the projectile play. And because of that, Extra O took a pretty violent turn into game one in their favor. Yeah, I mean that was an amazing that was an amazing game. Uh, a really great comeback from Extra O. Uh, oh, oh, we got Goon Squad coming in for uh, all sorts of uh, advice. Looks like Ralphie in favor of Stretch. Let me see if you could drop some notes. Meanwhile, uh, Child Gang. Um, yeah, me too. Um, Child Gang coming in to help out Extra O. So Zomba still hovering in the corner. Yeah, it's, it's definitely one of those let's go both players kind of moments. Um, and I saw Dara hop in for a moment. Yeah, Dara actually on deck for stream, interestingly Ooh. enough. So, so it makes sense that uh, he would be hovering child. around. Yeah, uh, really, really cool player. Uh, really interesting because I feel like when I first saw the box, the first thing I thought was like, wow, Ness up B would be impossible to do on this thing. Oh, you'll, you'll get plenty of chance to see it in our next set, but we got to get there first. So far, we've had a couple of really good sets, and 
I feel like if Stretch adapts properly, this is sizing up to be another hot set. Yeah, no, for sure. I think that that last game was really close. Uh, but it really feels like Extra O did a really good job establishing themselves on stage. Stretch is going to take it right back. Didn't think the stage was the problem. Interesting that we just see the jump out of shield. I imagine that up B out shield would have been able to punish that. But the frame data on that up B for Young Link is actually really favorable. So maybe uh, Stretch uh, showing off some character knowledge about this matchup. Oh, and the great parry up B. So I guess you do need a parry to uh, punish that. Every little bit helps when it comes to the, uh, the frame advantage you can get. Especially because parrying isn't as, like... I don't know, I, I guess parrying itself is not as efficient as like the presence of a perfect shield. So like you just have to be very aware of what you're swinging with when. Very situational. However, Stretch himself is a very well studied player. So I'm not surprised that he would wait for like the absolute safest moment to really start to, to figure out where he can press those buttons. Yeah. Although I do want to bring up how now we're seeing a lot of this battle is taking a lot more of the, the mid to close range instead of the mid to far that we saw a lot of in game one. Stretch doesn't really want to give Extro the ability to establish stage control with the projectiles. Oh, an amazing catch on the up B. And those up Bs are really, I think Extro o is starting to grow wise to them and really starting to kind of try and close in on Stretch when they're putting pressure on Stretch to try and catch the up B uh, out of disadvantage, out of shield in those very scrambly situations. And I think that you really see this amazing mid-range distance being established and maintained by Extra O, where Stretch really has to kind of uh, hard commit in order to uh, swing at Extra O. And you see that uh, they're using a lot of projectiles to cover that space, so it's very difficult for Stretch to get in. I'm not sure if what I just said made sense, uh, but we're moving on. <laughs> it's an abstract kind of neutral. That's how it goes with aggro zoners, and especially a character like Young Link, who, compared to a lot of other zoners, I would actually say he's kind of in the same boat as, like, Ivysaur, for instance, where a lot of those projectiles, yeah, they can be used to zone, yeah, they can be played for a keep away game, but a lot of it is a more of a hit confirm into your next action kind of deal. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Young Link can definitely, and, and one of the things that I think Ooh, makes Young Link good. very uh, dangerous is that Young Link can really flip the switch at any time. Uh, oh, they're scaling up this now. Yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. And wow, that's going to be last stock in this game. Yo, I do not even know if Dev has the mics on for the crowd, but I'm hearing the crowd roar for Extra O already. Yeah, they're on. Is this going to be a good one if Extra O manages to take this? Because yeah. Look at this. Still on their first stock. Still controlling the stage. Like, you would think that a small stage like Smashville would be great to as a counter-offensive against the zoner because they have less time to build up their wall. Yet here, Extra O has worked this stage to their favor so well. Oh, and that up B, going to be an unfortunate SD, but Extra O's got stocks to play with, you know? Like, you can live with that. And I think that Extra O doing such a great job in the corner of this stage, really kind of forcing Stretch onto the platform and then punishing whatever Stretch tries to do to get down. And there you see Stretch adapting to it by just trying to, to run in on the ground, but Extra O ready for it, ready for that option, ready to punish. Amazing stuff, and Extra O has got to be looking to close out this game pretty soon. And you see uh, an uncharacteristic, I would say, down air, uh, which would probably uh, put Lucina at, at great risk of dying. Uh, so we definitely see the kill options coming out, uh, looking for another down air. But we'll see. Oh, yeah, right oh, now. Oh, that'll do it. Parry uh, down tilt up air. All right, good job. Okay, so 2 0 over stretch. Yeah, great stuff. Even, though, even though it's an Arcadian, stretch is one of those players who's well known for you know, performing very well. Like I said before that set started, he's one of my favorites for being able to play very well here, but